What haunts me and what I want to haunt you today as a gift, (laughs) what haunts me is the way Christianity has been and continues to be complicit with that wounding. Christian faith and life continue to be driven by the geographic winds, the geographic wounds, excuse me, created by land developers, city planners, civil engineers, real estate agents, city government officials, and architects. We are, however, not simply passive spectators to the constant geographic cuttings and turnings of contemporary life. We have performed our faith right on top of these developments, often presenting them as natural and normal ways of forming life and living in the world, when in fact they have never been. They have never been natural or normal, ever. One powerful example of this in the United States was the history and the phenomena of sundown towns. Sundown towns were towns all across the U.S., mostly out of the South, all across the U.S., that from the beginning of the 1890s through the 1940s and up into the 1950s purposely removed or kept out of their towns African Americans, sometimes Jews and sometimes Asians. These were towns that aggressively sought to construct themselves as all white communities. These towns, many of them filled with people deeply Christian, constructed a geographic whiteness. A geographic whiteness that permeated the earth, the land, and all their surroundings. Now, in order to understand what I am saying, you must forget, friends, you must forget about whiteness as phenotype, as bodily characteristic, forget that, or even as a European heritage, and see it for what it is, a sick vision of maturity, a vision of maturity based on achieving mastery of this world, control of its land and resources, and a freedom to live unencumbered by anyone. Sound familiar? This sick vision of maturity allowed early Europeans to unleash into the world a form of judgment that that evaluated all peoples by how well they mastered their worlds and controlled their lands. To become white was to aim one's life, aim one's life at controlling one's world, at possessing one's land, and mastering one's environment. And we are yet caught up in the constant constructions of geographic whiteness. Race has always been a matter of geography, and whiteness always aims to structure itself geographically on the ground, in the shape of communities, cities, towns, rural and urban areas, neighborhood by neighborhood, block by block, even building by building, always creating geographic whiteness. 